What's going on all of my pre-healthcare professionals? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with our ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing the periodic table. Which of the following elements is highly reactive? Is it A, argon, B, neon, C, radon, or D, fluorine? And the correct answer is D, fluorine. Fluorine is a group of the halogen group which elements are highly reactive. Argon, neon, and radon are members of noble gas groups whose elements are extremely stable. Which of the following elements is the best heat conductor? Is it A, iron, B, phosphorus, C, sulfur, or D, selenium? And the correct answer is A, iron. Metals are better conductors of heat and electricity than nonmetals. Iron is the only metal among all of the choices. Phosphorus, sulfur, and selenium are all nonmetals. Tungsten has greater electronegativity than which of the following? Tin, A. Chromium, B. Hafnium, C. Or molybdenum, D. And the correct answer is C, hafnium. Tungsten is located on the sixth row of the periodic table and it has an atomic number of 74. Electronegativity increases as you move from left to right across the period slash row of the table and it decreases as you move down a group or a column of a table. Hathium is located to the left of tungsten on the sixth row, so it has a lower electronegativity value. Atoms of which of the following elements have the highest ionization energy? Is it A, potassium, B, nickel, C, calcium, or D, manganese? And the correct answer is B, nickel. Ionization energy increases as you move from left to right across the period or row of the table. Nickel is the element located the farthest to the right of the four elements mentioned, which lies on the fourth row of the periodic table. Nickel therefore has the highest ionization energy. Which of the following atoms has the smallest atomic radius? Is it A, rhodibium, B, radium, C, strontium, or D, barium? And the correct answer is C, strontium. The length of the atomic radius decreases as you move from left to right across the period or row of the table, and it increases as you move down a group or column of the table. Strontium is located to the right of rhodimium in the fifth row and above barium and radium in the second row. So its atoms have the smallest atomic radii. Which of the following indicate the number of electrons in a neutral atom of zinc? Is it A, 16, B, 20, C, 30, or D, 40? And the correct answer is C, 30. Zinc is found in the fourth row of the periodic table with an atomic number of 30. Its atoms therefore have 30 protons. A neutral atom of zinc would have the same number of electrons as protons, thus 30 electrons. Which of the following atoms has a larger atomic radius than copper? Is it A, zinc, B, gold, C, arsenic, or D, bromine? And the correct answer is B, gold. The length of the atomic radius decreases as you move from left to right across the period or row of the table. Zinc, arsenic, and bromine are all located to the right of copper on the fourth row of the table, so atoms of these elements would all have smaller atomic radii than copper. The length of the atomic radius increases as you move down a group or column of the table, so gold atoms would have a larger atomic radius than copper atoms. The greatest number of protons is found in an atom of which of the following elements? Is it A, chromium? B, cobalt, C, lithium, or D, carbon? And the correct answer is B, cobalt. Cobalt has an atomic number of 27, so it contains 27 protons. Chromium has 24, lithium has three, and carbon has six. Which of the following statements is true about the relationship between mercury and lead? Is it A, mercury atoms have fewer protons, and a larger atomic radius than lead atoms? B, 
Mercury atoms have more protons and a smaller atomic radius than lead atoms. C, mercury atoms have fewer protons and a higher ionization energy than lead atoms. Or D, mercury atoms have a smaller atomic radius and a higher ionization energy than lead atoms. And the correct answer is A, mercury atoms have fewer protons and a larger atomic radius than lead atoms. Mercury has an atomic number of 80, while lead has an atomic number of 82. So mercury has fewer protons than lead. Mercury is located on the left of lead on the sixth row of the table. So its atoms have a larger atomic radius than lead atoms. Moving on to our last question. Which of the following lists elements order in terms of lowest to highest electronegativity? Is it A, iron, cobalt, rodinium, B, nickel, palladium, platinum, C, titanium, vanadium, manganese, or D, zinc, copper, nickel? And the correct answer is C, titanium, vanadium, manganese. Electronegativity increases as you move from left to right across the table or row, and it decreases as you move down a group or column of the table. Titanium, vanadium, and manganese are listed in order of their positions from left to right on the fourth row of the table. So they are listed in order of least to greatest electronegativity. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.